get my uh, my green and I'm probably going to change brush I think this is a bit too big I'm gonna use my number one and I'm going to apply again the paint where the darkest area is And then uh, with the other brush, just do the the fading, so the the graded wash. It's uh, a bit difficult to do in this area, so small. So don't worry if you don't get this uh, the first time around. You need the uh, very small brushes. You can make the flowers much bigger, of course, so it's easier to do uh, this part. And then uh, you can always uh, change the sides when you're doing uh, your pattern. And you can do this in sections, as you can see. I'm not doing the whole stalk all at once. Because otherwise the paint will dry and you won't get this this effect of fading and i'm doing this uh, in these small areas so i'm doing a wet on dry uh, but with the leaves i'm going to wet the leaves again so I'm going to do wet on wet again because it's a much larger area and it's quite warm well it's very hot in here today so the paper would dry too quickly and it will probably leave a, a line so I just apply the paint and then in the darker area and then tease it with the other brush just slightly so that it forms this uh, shadow area there's a little bit here like that so you, you can leave it like this and then uh, you just wet the other one Again, wait for the sheen and then apply the color. So we're going to do this side. A bit darker. And with a damp brush, just uh, tease the paint a little bit so there's a smooth tr transition. And until it's wet, you can always reapply a little bit more paint. But once it starts drying, you shouldn't touch it anymore. And let's do the biggest uh, leaf. Leaves are always a bit uh, scary to especially to beginner with a color artist, but they enrich your uh, composition so much. It's very important to add them. So the shadow is going to be here, near to the stem. Possibly a little bit here. and just uh, tease the paint with your damp brush. I 
All right. And uh, if you think once it's dry that this area is too light, then you can always apply another wash, just a, um, a flat wash uh, with the same color, uh, maybe a little bit lighter than the one you applied here. And it will keep this area dark and it will darken a little bit this area. Now we can do uh, this area here, the uh, stamens. And this is an area with texture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the paint with a stippling action. So more concentrated on this side, then I will rinse a little bit the brush, the brush tap it on the paper, and then keep applying the with the stippling uh, action to the other side where there is the the light. And you can't really see too much the texture just yet, but it will be more evident as you add the layers. And it's nice to, to work like this. So you already prepare the texture in there. And then for the top part, which is uh, where the stamens haven't opened up yet, uh, we do the same thing. So it's a bit more reddish, this part. So I just added a little bit of um, permanent alizarine cream is on there. And I do the same, I just uh, rinse the brush a little bit. So just dip it in water basically and touch it on the side. And then uh, I keep applying the paint so it will become lighter on the left side. All right. And uh, we have applied the second layer and then for the third layer we can add the details and uh, finish up the flower and we will do that in the next lesson.